Hey, if you're having problems installing Cargo into Blender, then check this out. When you install Cargo and connect it to Blender, say 3.5 for example, successfully, it should install the plugin to a location on your hard drive. And you can then manually go in and grab that plugin. Uh, it's at C Program Files, Kitbash 3D Cargo Resources Plugin Blender, Kitbash Cargo Blender.zip. I'll leave, it, leave the info in the description as well. And uh, if you install it and click Auto Connect, you should then be able to use Cargo with whatever version you want. It's supported with 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, all the way up to... I've got it working with 3.6, even though the docs say it's not supported yet. I, I have got it working. If you have problems, go into the, into the side panel and just deactivate Cargo and reactivate it again. For me, that's just got it working. Um, I haven't had any problems with, and I've tested it myself with uh, 3.2, 3.3. But I do use the zip files. If you use MSI or the Windows Store, apparently the Windows Store doesn't work. And with MSI, you might have problems as well. MSI installers. Um, but, you know, try it. Might help. And that's it. And additionally, there's one other quick tip if uh, anyone's not doesn't know how to separate uh, pieces if you find yourself with an object that hasn't been separated and you want to grab one of the objects that that, that, are, that are in it just uh, go into edit mode hover over the faces and uh, press L and it'll grab all the linked faces and, and generally this lets you select everything so holding it L over there press P click se separate by selection if that works for this particular object, and then uh, you've got your object nicely separated out. So um, most of these meshes are built in, in that way, uh, it's, it's, which is great. <laughs> it's very nice to be able to separate things out that way if you need to. And that's it. Hope that was useful. Cheers.